Hello there. Is everybody well today? Oh, I am so delighted to hear that. And me? Oh, yes. Two thumbs up. As a matter of fact, today is one of those beautiful summer days that we can get here in England. As a matter of fact, it's going to be as high as 19 degrees Celsius by this afternoon. That's 66 in Fahrenheit. Wow, you say that's not much? No, my pal, of course, Father Ludovic in Italy, he's, he's well into the mid-30s and starting to climb up to the 40s. Wow, but no, not here. England, we have a much more civilized weather and temperature. <laughs> oh, sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> so where are we off to today? Well, on such a beautiful summer's day, best thing to do, of course, is to go to somewhere warmer than it is here in England, because that's what all the Brits do, you know, in summer, is they go to warmer climes. And Spain, is one of those favorite destinations. Now, I had this email and message from a YouTuber by the name of Mark Scott. And Mark Scott, he said he, was, he would like me to do a flight between Spain and Mallorca, the island of Mallorca, into the La Palma airport there. And I thought, yes, well, why not? So I went out and had a look at his YouTube site. This is it. You can see it on the screen here. And the description he gives is, my channel is just about the stuff I get up to. Motorbike stuff. Tinkering with my bike in the shed. Camping, gardening, DIY, and trying to be as self-sufficient as possible. And then he said, He's based in the northeast of England. So I wrote back and said I would be delighted to make this flight for him. And since he was so close, why didn't he pop down and he could fly Ryanair 186 straight to La Palma Airport himself? And he said, oh, he was, uh, <laughs> he was overcome by that. He wasn't expecting that kind of an invitation. But as I told him, I was brought up to always share my toys. <laughs> anyway, he said he's very, very simple at the moment. He says he's just got a SciTech yoke, throttle, autopilot, landing gear, switch panel. Humble beginnings, he says, but he'd love to involve into something a bit more realistic. Well, let me tell you, Mark. That's exactly how I started out 16, 17 years ago now. And today, this is what I have. <laughs> now, when I asked him uh, which particular airports did he have interest in, he suggested that uh, for the departure airport that we go from either Alicante or from Valencia. And he settled on Alicante, since it's a beautiful airport. And the airport scenery in Alicante is made by pilots at FSIM. Pilots at FSIM make the wonderful detailed scenery of Alicante, L-E-A-L. -L. And Palma de Mallorca, L-E-P-A, airport scenery, is made by Aerosoft, and that's our destination today. So, Alicante to Palma de Mallorca. Beautiful area. And the scenery, of course, I mean, I'm talking about the real scenery, the scenery of the island, is really beautiful. Magnificent beaches. So, if you're... Oh, and I did check, and I found that a certain company by the name of Ryanair. 
they do the flight. So that's what we're going to do. We'll follow the Ryanair flight that's going out. Actually, we'll leave uh, Alicante in about 45 minutes. And it is Ryanair flight 6567. 6567. Or FR6567. And that will bring it up in Flight Aware. Right. Well, I think that we're ready. I'm sorry that you're not here, Mark, to share the flight with me, but I'll try to do you proud, all right? But first, we need to go into pre-flight. Are you ready? Okay. Well, here we are in Flight Aware, and we're looking at the flight that arrived over 14 hours ago. This is yesterday's flight. The one today hasn't departed yet. And you can see here, it departed from Alicante, Benidorm, Costa Blanca, and went to Palma de Mallorca, the, in that beautiful island out in the Mediterranean. It was 12 minutes late departing and 26 minutes late arriving. Hmm, we are going to have to do better than that. Anyway, here's the route. You can see here's Alicante down here. By the way, Valencia is, is up here, somewhere in this vicinity. So we're going to go from Alicante, which is down here, and go all the way to the island of Mallorca. Let's have a look and see what the cruising altitude was. Oh, 24,000 feet? then we'll do exactly the same. We'll put 24,000 feet in our flight plan when we get into it. Okay, let's go and have a look at the weather. Now, here's the weather coming in off the Mediterranean. As you can see here, it's sweeping up. Then it sort of turns and goes north. So there's a bit of a twist there. But it says... 30 minutes ago, the wind was 100 degrees at six knots, varying between 30 and 140. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. But it's VFR. Visibility is okay. Beautiful weather. Temperature, 32 degrees. Wow, great stuff there. Q&H 1014, which makes it almost standard barometric pressure. Barometric pressure standard, of course, is 1013. Well, looking at that, let's see at the runways. The chances are it's going to be a departure on runway 10, if I were to make a guess. But I don't know if that's what we'll actually be departing from or not. And we'll be at one of these stands over here is where we'll be parking we'll we'll have a look when we get into the cockpit and and check out the best place over on the island of la palma and mallorca there it is it's showing oh there's a looks like there's a an interesting little pressure area moving over the top of la palma Wind is 250 degrees, 9 knots, varying 210 to 280. Visibility 10 kilometers or more. Clouds view at 2500. Temperature same, 32 degrees. Q and H 1015, a slightly higher pressure there. And VFR. Runway information. Well, you can see that there are two runways here. And it's more than likely we'll be coming in on this one, I think. So we'll just have to see what the uh, program gives us. But uh, yes, that's, that's going to be interesting. 24 left is, is my suspicion. So coming in here. All right, let's go into sim brief. We are, of course, Ryanair, and even though we're following a Ryanair flight, I'm still going to be 
the famous 186, you know, the pirate uh, <laughs> cousin of Ryanair. <laughs> and we're going from L-E-A-L. And we're going to go to L-E-P-A. And there is the alternate, should things go pear-shaped. Our aircraft type is a 737-800. And there's our registration, cruise profile 6. Schedule flight time, 1 hour 10 minutes. That, of course, is block time from closing the doors to opening them. Departure on runway 10. Arrival runway on 24 left. And we'll put in here 240 to match the same altitude. We, of course, are full. And we do have champagne and caviar. <laughs> yes, always good stuff, that isn't it? And here is the routing. Route distance is 184 nautical miles. So, and looking down here, here you can see the route. Just goes to the south of Ibiza, comes up here, and then swings in to Lepa up there, L-E-P-A. Now, here, Barcelona is our alternate. Should things go pear-shaped, we will be going off and landing at Barcelona. All right, let's go and save the flight and generate the flight plan. Well, here you've got the originating and there's the destination and there's our Barcelona alternate. Cruise is 24,000 feet. Airtime is 46 minutes. There's our block fuel right there. And there is the routing. No remarks for the route. And here in the flight plan itself, we are Ryanair 186. And right here, the F240 is our uh, flight cruising altitude. And then this is the flight route itself. Here's the information for um, Barcelona, our alternate. We'll need to know that we are cost index 6. And here is the average cruise wind that we will be experiencing. We'll need to make sure there's 5,777 kilograms of fuel, of which 2,759 are for reserves and 2,341 trip and taxi. No tankering recommended. And right here is the full route. And this is what I'll post in the description box below the video. We're going to need to know the wind speed and direction for descent at 20,000 feet and at 15,000 feet and at 10,000 feet. Temperatures look quite interesting here. There's it looks like we're going to be having a minus 13 at 20,000 feet. So not bad. And minus 22 looks like it's going to be the coldest that we will experience on our flight. And here's the wind information for flight level 240 right there. Taking off from Alicante we're going to have a little bit of a tailwind until we get across here. But by the time we get to Ibiza, then that's going to be a crosswind. And then certainly a little bit of crosswind when we get over the island of Mallorca. And here's the vertical profile. 
taking off from Alicante, climbing up to top of climb here at 24,000 feet. And then Lampa is our top of descent and then straight down into Mallorca right here. Okay, straightforward, easy peasy. Are you ready, Mark? Let's go into Navigraph charts then. All right, here we are. Here's Valencia up here. That was the other airport that we were considering, but Alicante is the one that we're actually going to be departing from. And here is Palma de Mallorca right over there. So let's go flights, new flights from Simbrief, and that's the one we just made. So let's go ahead and open the charts list. We're going to need the airport information and the parking stands. And we're also going to need to use this. So taking off and going out here in that particular route. So I'm going to pin that. Over here, I'm going to open up the charts list. I'm going to need the airport and parking stands. I'm also going to need this. This is the principal uh, standard in, uh, approach. I'll pin this at the bottom. And since we're going to be using 24 left, I'm going to go over here and go to 24 left. We're category three ILS Zulu runway 24 left. So I'm going to pin that. Now let's have a look at that. As you can see here, I'll just close this over here and put that up there. When we get to Mallorca, and there's the big VOR there, that's going to be one of the things that we'll be putting in. And um, we then swing out here and make the turn and there's the initial intermediate fix of Obumu and then 238 degrees straight down to land at runway 24 left. So that is the, the plan. Here's the profile. It's a pretty easy glide slope going down. And there's the decision height is 50 feet and we'll be putting that also in as well. Other information that we need to know. Transition altitude is 6,000 feet. Transition level is by ATC. Airport elevation is 27 feet. The localizer is 109.3. So we'll be needing to have some information in for these VORs as well. So that's what we'll have. And we are now all set to go into the cockpit. So are you ready, Mark? All right, let's go in and uh, kick the tires, wash the windows and load up the champagne and caviar. Ah, oh, there you are, Mark Scott. Do come on in, please, and take your seat right here in the first officer's seat. And let me tell you where we are. We are at stand 29. Stand 29 at Alicante Airport in Spain. That's L-E-A-L. -E and we're right in front of the main terminal building and I have some really magnificent uh, scenery to report here. 
This particular scenery is made by pilots at F Sim. Pilots at F Sim, and they've done a magnificent job. Let me let me show you the detail that is in this particular scenery. Looking over to the left, you can see there's lots of animated people here. There's a group that's just waiting for the next aircraft to come in, perhaps. And if you notice, over, over there, there are passengers that are getting put in line ready for boarding. But look at the detail of this. Here's the walkway that people use to board the aircraft. But the detail is absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. And there you can see the... That's the Elche part of the Alicante-Elche airport. And there's one of the buses hope it's not a kamikaze but if you notice up here the glass is transparent and you've got somebody walking up and down there so again animated even behind the glass but over here you've got a bunch of very jovial people there they're waving at us i should wave back but incredible detail, look at that, just look at that. And then over there to the right hand side. So really, really detailed scenery here. And as I said, we are right here at stand 29. And it does give the geographic coordinates to make it very easy for loading the GPS system in the aircraft. Well, I am well pleased with this. I really am. And what's the frame rate? It is 18, 19, 18, between 18 and 19 frames per second. So, absolutely extraordinary and really delightful scenery. And this, as I say, is made by pilots at FSIM. FSIM. Pilots at FSIM. Really, really great. You know, Mark, you picked a great airport to depart from. This is a lovely airport. And we have Active Sky running in the background, giving us the weather. And I'm looking at it, and it is blue sky here. Well, of course, this is Spain. What could you expect? You always have blue sky here. Beautiful weather. All right. I've been around. I've checked the tires. I've washed the windows. They're all sparkling and clean. Look, look how clean they are. It's almost as though there's no glass there at all. <laughs> okay, this is how we start the aircraft. I know you said you had a a more your words more humble sim but that's the way i started out too but in this particular one and i'm hoping that you will come down sometime in this the forward overhead is a full one-to-one -one replica so turn on the battery we check that we have enough voltage turn on the fuel pumps and let's get the APU started here. Here's the APU, the low oil pressure light has gone on and this is starting to activate. There it is, starting to climb up. It will reach a height and then it will start to go back. They're amazing these things, aren't they? I mean, when you think about the, the detail and the intricacy of constructing one of these. Okay, and the low oil pressure light went out. It'll stabilize. And then I'm looking for this light. There it is. 
So now I've got this turned on and we have up here 115 volts now. Not bad. So now I can turn on the IRS which are the GPS systems and there are two on board. I can turn on the galley, emergency exit lights, no smoking, fasten seat belt and over here the left and the right window heat will leave the probe zone off for a moment and here's the hydraulic electric pumps the forward service hatch is open and the equipment stairs are down because if you notice out here even though there are jetways the big posh airplanes like the 747s or the Dreamliners all of those really big aircraft would probably use those but aircraft such as Ryanair, Jet2, EasyJet, all of those budget airlines they always have their passengers come on and board by climbing the stairs because they have to pay, the airlines have to pay for these jetways to be run and that is not always a very economical proposition. All right, then over here, I'm going to turn on the APU bleed, the recirculating fans, and now the packs. And there is the air rushing through to cool down the cabin because it is 33 degrees Celsius outside, quite warm which means on the inside of the aircraft it will be very stuffy indeed and it needs to be cooled down very quickly. And the next thing I'll do now is turn on this steady light and that makes everything ready and set to go. So that's how you get this thing going from a cold and dark condition. All right, let's program the FMC. We check that the air rack data is in date and current and that there are no errors with the programming. We push position initialization and our starting airport is LEAL. L -E -A -L. And we are at gate 29, so 2 9 put that in and it comes right up and I'm going to check what it says in front of me and it is exactly got it in perfectly so now we'll put that into the GPS system now our starting position is known go to the root L E A L is the origin and our destination is LEPA, L-E-P-A. And we are Ryanair, R-Y-R, and we are 186. Go down to next page, and now we'll have a look at the route, because this is what we're going to put in. So our first waypoint is Mitos. So M I T. OS and it is the top one and then we take the Bravo 46 Bravo 46 and that will take us to Ruxet R U X E T and that is our route. So activate that, execute. Now we go to fix and we put in LEPA for our destination and we need a four mile circle, we need a 10 mile circle and we need a 30 mile circle. Go to descent, go to forecast, Transition level, we leave that as it is because that is assigned by ATC. 
Now looking at the levels we need to put in for 200 and for 150 and for 100. The Q and H at our destination is 1014. 1014. And the direction and speed at 200 is 196 at 6. 196 at 6. And in 150 it is 14 at 11. 14 at 11. And at 10,000 feet, it is 30 at 13. So 30 at 13. Execute that. Departures. Now there is no ATIS at this airport, according to P3D. So we're going to go two to ground, and then we're going to request our clearance. Ground, Ryanair 186 IFR2, Paula de Mallorca, ready to copy. Ryanair 186 is cleared to Romeo Uniform X-ray Echo Tango Airport as filed. Fly runway heading, climb and maintain 9000, departure frequency is 118.8, score 6544. Ryanair 186 cleared to Romeo Uniform X-ray Echo Tango Airport as filed. Fly runway heading, climb and maintain 9000. Departure on 118.8, score 6544. Ryanair 186, we back correct. Contact ground on 121.7. Ground, Ryanair 186, ready to taxi, IFR. Ryanair 186, taxi to and hold short of runway 10 via taxiway Charlie Bravo 2 Bravo 1 Alpha 1 Alpha 3 Alpha 4 Contact tower on 118.15 when ready Taxi to and hold short runway 10 via taxiway Charlie Bravo 2 Bravo 1 Alpha 1 Alpha 3 Alpha 4 Ryanair 186 Right, we have our clearance and it is going to be runway 10 just like we thought it would be and that would make it then, we're using the Mito 3 Alpha departure. Now we go to departures and arrivals, and we're going to be coming in on ILS, ILS Zulu 24 left. That is our plan, and we'll be using the Ruxet to Papa arrival. So the Ruxet to Papa arrival. And we're going to be coming in on the MJV transition. Execute that. All right, now I'm going to go to legs and we'll check this out. I'm going to switch this to plan so that we can go through this and find out if we have a good plan. Now I'm just going to step through each of these and looking for any kind of discontinuity on our route. So far everything is coming in. There's the MK, MJV. There's going up to, there's one. That's now turning now onto that's the base leg and turns right in onto the runway at La Palma. Not bad. Well, we have a good plan there. So I'm going to switch this back to map. Right, now that we have that, It's time to go in and perform the initialization on this. Our fuel is 2,759 for reserves. The trip and tax is 2,341. That comes to 5,100 even. So 5.1 is our plan. Reserves 2.8, 2.8. Cost index is 6. Our cruise altitude is 240. Our cruise wind 
Average wind is 166 at 5, 166 at 5. Transition altitude 6000, we're leaving that as that is. And now we double click that and it calculates everything. Execute that. And one limit. We have 33 degrees outside. Wow, warm. Ha. We'll be using flaps 10. Double click this and it gives us the uh, center of gravity and what the value is we need to put on the trim wheel. One click on each of these gives us V1 rotation and then liftoff speed at 145. Okay, so now I'm going to put in 24,000 up here. I'm going to put 24,000 in up here too. This is our cabin pressurization. The airport elevation is 27 feet. I'm going to leave that at zero. Now the heading, when we do leave, the airport heading on runway 10 is 100. So I'm going to put 100 in here for the, for the heading. I'm going to put it in here as well for you. That's all right. Okay, 100 and 100 over here. Okay, and the Mac is 145. And your damper on, flight continuity light went out, weather on mine, double click for data, terrain on yours, double click for data. I'm going to put my radius distance at 20. Now I'm going to turn on the TCAS. Our self-loading cargo is all on, so I'm going to bring up the stairs and close the, the door. There's the, the machine that uh, the electrical uh, equipment that's bringing in the stairs. Okay, we are set for that. Anti-skid is now going on there. Right, just do a quick check here. Flight director on, flight director on. Press the V-nav, press the L-nav. We have green lights on both. So I'm going to arm the throttle. VOR1, VOR2, VOR1, VOR2. Because I have the VORs at the destination also programmed in and the VOR1 will be used for the localizer. Okay, looking good. When we push back, we will need to have our nose go to the left and our tail go to the right. And which engine would you like to start today, Mark? Uh, number one or number two? You like to start number one today? Okay, number one engine it is. All right, fuel is all checked. Windows are all locked. Seatbelt signs are on. Door lights are out. MCP is programmed. Takeoff thrust bugs all set. CDU pre flight correct. Rudder air alarm trim is set. Taxi takeoff briefing, we've just done that. Going to arm now the collision light. And now we need to ask the nice people on the ground to give us a pushback. So here we go. Are you, are you ready? Okay. Cockpit to ground. Go ahead. We've been cleared for push and start, tail to the right. Copy that. Ready for push tail right. Release brake, please. Parking brake is off. Now here I've got to turn off the air conditioning. Brakes released. Because of the 
we need the compressor to spin the engines. And as soon as we move, I'll I'm going to turn. Here we go. I'm turning this to generator one. Now I'm turning it on. So the start valve has opened, and here you can see the N1 is spinning up. The engines are spinning around. When this gets to 24, I'll bring in the fuel. There we're coming up. 24. Now, I'm looking now for the engine gas temperature to rise, and it is. Looking for the low oil pressure light to go out. And there it has. Engine gas is building up very nicely. Wow. All right. There's the engines. Now, let's see if we get 114 volts, 115 volts up here. We do. Switching to engine number two. The start valve has opened on number two. Looking for the N2 to start climbing, and it is. It's climbing very nicely. And when it gets to 24, there it is. Bringing in the fuel. Push back complete. Parking brake, please. Parking brake is set. Engine gas Break temperature set. is rising rapidly now. The low oil pressure light, looking for it to go off, and it has. All right, steering pin is disconnected. Watch for the slip release from guidance on your left. Have a good flight. Thank you, gentlemen. They're so good, those lads, aren't they? Okay, and there's the second engine, and looking for 115 volts. There we have. Okay. Now the engines are balanced out, so I'm now switching to the generators on the main engines, turning the air conditioning back on, turning off the APU bleed, turning off the APU. Right, we are all set. Now, I'm going to go to flaps 10. Generators are on, probe heat is on right there anti-ice not required isolation valve correct engine stop levers idle detent flight deck door closed and locked recall is checked flight controls checked flaps green light check stabilizer trim is broken correct auto brake rto speed brake lever down detent ground equipment is now clear so we are ready now to turn on the taxi lights and taxi to the active but I should show you the detail that we've got on this look at the detail on this we've moved into position now and here's the rest of the airport and there's a Europa Airlines being serviced and passengers boarding there beautiful beautiful views and there's the main front of the airport Alicante isn't that grand beautiful detailed scenery by pilots at FC okay now I'll get myself in position Right, I have Navigrab charts activated now down here. Let me just enlarge the plate so you can see where we are and where we have to go. So we have to go all the way along down here and then we get into the taxi area there. Okay, brake is off, all right. Hang on. Ha. Okay, here we go. Then. Give some power to get ourselves unstuck. This is a beautiful day here in Spain. Absolutely beautiful. Just absolutely delightful.
and everybody likes to wave, so we wave back. <laughs> So this 
this is obvious they got some uh, that some of the bumps I was telling you about <laughs> well 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 so this scenery has actually built that in too well, I'm keeping my eyes open looking out there for any aircraft coming in and I don't see any we're tuned into the tower frequency right now so as soon as we get into position we'll be able to contact the tower and ask for clearance to depart turn on the first one this time and we'll go up to the whole short lines and see if we can reach the tower and get our clearance to depart all right holding short and request takeoff clearance Ready to go, runway 10, IFR 2, Romeo Uniform, X-ray Echo Tango, Ryanair 186, cleared for takeoff, runway 10, cleared for takeoff, runway 10, we are cleared to takeoff, okay, so takeoff briefing is done, engine bleeds are now, and they're on, start switch is continuous, cabin is secure, all lights are on, and starting the clock all right we'll taxi out now to the center and depart nothing coming well, looks like we're looking good
your seat again. Did you get enough to drink? It always helps to have lots to drink when you're landing in Ryanair 186. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad that you're here. I'll tell you where we are. Mallorca is just ahead and we have just got to Ruxet. We're just crossing over there and we are getting ready to get to that one point where we then turn and go into a downwind for landing on runway um, 24 left runway 24 left so everything is looking good so far we're descending very nicely and I've got the seatbelt signs are on right now and I did listen to Atis, and Atis has reported that 24 left and 24 right is in use. So everything is looking good on that. Right, we are not doing too bad. Everything looks okay. So let me see. Contact the tower and get our clearance to land. Are you ready? Okay. Power Tower, Ryanair 186 is 21 miles south with Juliet to land. Ryanair 186, Power Tower, fly left traffic, one way, two, four, left, altimeter, one, zero, one, four. Enter left, turn wind, one way, two, four, left, Ryanair 186. Right, we are given our clearance to enter left downwind traffic and for landing on runway 24 left just exactly what we had hoped and planned for all right so everything is looking good right i'm going to switch to the plate for the arrival okay everything is we're on course and here is the view of the island as we are coming in
traffic in the vicinity but we are now downwind we're on the downwind leg for landing at runway 24 left this is downwind
going on to final. And VOR lock is on the localizer. We're locked onto the localizer.
because uh, what we need to do is we need to swing here, go down there, because most of Ryanair, when they come in, they come in on the far side. So let's see if we can follow that. All right, hold tight, here we go. Aerosoft, by the way. Aerosoft are the ones who design Mallorca airport scenery. Well, there's a few kamikazes around. scenery with the mountains and the clouds, they do look magnificent. So we'll take Foxtrot, go in and find ourselves a place to park where Ryanair is usually allocated. over there There. 
there's a kamikaze, go on, get out of it. Buzz off. is off and shutdown is complete we're back down to where we how we started let me show you what what we've got here look at this there's the we parked right at number 16 and that gives us the Palma de Mallorca sign plenty of kamikazes around <laughs> And there, there is the assistance for docking. So we're right on the money. And there's the detail. Look at the detail. Isn't that magnificent? Beautiful. Aerosoft is the one who made this. Right. Mark, we made your journey. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you for the suggestion. Do appreciate it very much. Now, don't forget what we've just done today. I would love if you were able to pop down and fly in this seat yourself on a flight coming up there. How's that? There's the invitation, public invitation for you to come down and fly Ryanair 186, okay? I'd love to see you. And thank you for the suggestion for the flight. And I'll see you and everybody else on another flight of Ryanair 186. Bye, everybody.